with the advancement of technology nowadays happening at a subatomic level, like the development of smartphones or the need for increased storage density, basic microscopes that use the principles of light to, to examine structures just aren't enough for us anymore. For us to observe these properties and behaviors, we need an instrument like the scanning tunneling microscope. A scanning tunneling microscope is a non-optical device that uses the principles of quantum mechanics, basically the interactions and motions of subatomic particles, to produce a digital image of a certain specimen. A STM is a massive machine compared to a regular microscope, but it ultimately comes down to an extremely sharp tip that is made of metal with a high conductance that is connected to a specimen by applying a voltage across it. The tip then moves back and forth across the surface of the specimen. The distance between them ranges from 1,000 to 1 million times smaller than the width of a human hair. Because the distance is so small, as it scans, electrons will occasionally jump from the tip to the specimen. And this effect is called quantum tunneling. And when electrons flow in a complete circuit, a current is generated. This current is called a tunneling current. Due to the spherical structure of an atom, the distance between the tip and the specimen continues to change. The larger the distance between them, the less electrons that can tunnel from the tip to the specimen. Therefore, a lower tunneling current would be produced. It then uses this fluctuating tunneling current to produce a map of the specimen. However, this microscope does not only have the one function of mapping an image, but is also used to reposition and insert atoms within the specimen. This is done by transferring an atom to the tip, which is then transported to wherever the user wants. The scanning tunneling microscope is not limited, however, to electronic applications. It is vastly used in all fields of science. And in summary, it is a crucial instrument as it helps us increase our knowledge of subatomic particles and ultimately better our technology. Thank you for watching.